Yo, what's up everybody? Tech King Mike. Welcome to another video. Yes, 2022. We are finally here. Brand new year. First video of the year. We're gonna go ahead and get it started off right, man. So I've been really wanting to like get back into working on my desk setup and really wanted to just do things a little differently with my desk. And one of the things that I really wanted to focus on was a good keyboard. Now, I have used the Logitech MX Keys. Uh, the Logitech MX Keys for Mac, which is my current keyboard, and I've never delved or gone into the world of mechanical keyboards. So this time, I decided, you know, start the year off differently, late Christmas gift to myself. I went on ahead and chose to pick up the Keychron K4 version 2 keyboard. So we're going to unbox this thing and take a look at it, give a few first impressions on the thing and see how it feels to actually have a mechanical keyboard. Now I'm not going to go through the pairing process because it's very simple. It's just a Bluetooth connection to the MacBook. I don't feel like I need to go too deep into that, but may do that in another video. This is going to be a pure unboxing of the keyboard just to kind of give you an idea of what we're going to get into. So with that being said, let's cue the intro. Let's get it started. All right, so like I said, we're back with another video, and this is the Keychron K4 96% wireless keyboard. Now, the 96% stands for the fact that you're 4% away from 100%. Now, for full disclosure, a 100% keyboard is going to look something like this right here. So this is what a 100% keyboard looks like. So we'll place this one up here so you can guys have an idea of what that's gonna look like compared to this one. But let's go ahead and pull this off. Now this did come wrapped in plastic, but I uh, already took the plastic off of it out of excitement. So yeah, <laughs> that's on me, but let's put that off to the side there. So we got a nice little foam liner here that's gonna you know kind of protect it and everything. And then you have your Keychron K4 little instruction card here. Now it says, if you are a Windows user, please find the appropriate keycaps in the box. And then follow the instructions below to find and replace the following keycaps. So that's going to be how to sync this with a Windows machine. Now let's run down some of the specs of this keyboard. Now this key this keyboard has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. It's rated that you can get around 70 hours of battery if you leave the white backlight on, around 80 hours of battery if you do RGB, which is very interesting. I would have thought RGB would be more. Maybe it's the you know brighter light of the white light. I'm not really sure. But if you use no lighting, I think you can get up to 200 hours of battery life before you have to cut it off, which is still really good. Because if you think about how often you're actually at your desk working, that's actually really great battery life. Now it charges over USB-C. And like I said, it has keycaps in it to work with Windows, but this one is the one that is for Mac specifically, so that one is definitely you know why I got it because I'm a primarily a Mac user, um, Final Cut and all that good jazzy stuff. Also, you do have a USB C cable inside to connect to your device and your computer. This works with iPads, um, MacBooks, Mac Minis, you know, Windows computers, laptops, all that good stuff. So, yeah, this is a pretty interesting machine uh, keyboard now. Let's take a look and see what we get inside first. So like I said, these are gonna be those keycaps that you're gonna get, and these are gonna be your keycaps for your Windows machine, so you check those out there. We'll put those over here off to the side, and this is also gonna be your USB-C cable. Now, one thing I like about the USB-C cable is that it is right angled, so that means that when it is connected to your uh, your keyboard, it's not gonna be like jutting out of the side like some, key some cables are. It's gonna be nice and flush on your desk setup, which is pretty nice, kind of like the cable I have in my MacBook that you might be able to see on the Beacon cam here. Now, last thing, of course, is going to be your switch puller. Now, this is pretty cool because this is how you pull your keycaps off. Like I said, this is my first mechanical keyboard, so all of this is very exciting to me <laughs> to like try something new. So this is pretty interesting, man. This is pretty interesting. And that's pretty much going to be it for underneath that part of the box. So now let's lift this up. And this is going to be your instruction book right here, your mechanical keyboard, Keychron K4. Now, the Keychron, uh, a little bit of backstory about them. They were a Kickstarter company that, if I'm not mistaken, they basically um, made like a crap ton of money on their crowdfunding. People loved them and jumped on board with them really fast. And, I mean, I've seen quite a few YouTubers talk about them. It's, it's kind of like the de facto YouTuber desk setup keyboard. But I personally looked at it as a great you know entryway into mechanical keyboards so taking a look at it compared to the logitech mx keys for mac um obviously the mx keys is a lot thinner of a keyboard it's a lot thinner profile there is no like raisivity on the back just a little bit of feet on the back to kind of raise it up but that's not really you know like we'll move the key card out of the side for a second it's not really too high 
as far as like your actual like you know the way it feels when you're typing the keychron already first impressions definitely looks like it's going to be a lot higher of a keyboard i mean if you see how my fingers are already kind of like having to curve up now they do make some wrist rest for them there's a wood one uh, a resin a wood resin combination they're really nice and i definitely will probably pick one of those up so we'll probably unbox that once it comes and check that out as well now Taking a look around on the back of the keyboard, you do get your rubber feet. So there is two small ones here, and the two small ones were kind of lifted up just a little bit. You can put those down, and you can go with the two larger ones that give yourself a lot more of a lifted presence of the keyboard. I kind of like that right there, so I think I might leave that as it is, but I don't know. It's already pretty lifted up as it is, so we'll see. I might just leave that be. I do have a desk mat that I'm going to be using with it so I won't have to worry about it being on the wood of the desk here so that's not too much of an issue now let's go ahead and take a look around the sides now around the sides you have your um, screws and everything for where it has you know the aluminum body definitely has some good weight to it it feels I would say I would say surprisingly I think the MX keys is a little heavier than the Keychron is, which is very interesting because I'm not sure if the MX Keys is a aluminum build. I wanna say it feels mostly plastic, um, but this is definitely a solid build keyboard and it's definitely really nice, so definitely enjoying that. Now, of course, you get your orange button right there. That's gonna be your escape key. Now, they do have one inside that is just gray if you wanna make it gray. I'm gonna leave it as it is because I actually like how it looks. I think it adds like a nice little like, um, aesthetic to if you will on the side over here as well you have your uh, different buttons here for your connection so this is going to be for your uh, uh, USB-C or off or Bluetooth those are your two different connections and that's also going to be your Mac OS and your Windows connection so that's how you're going to be able to distinguish between the different OS's when you're connecting it now let's go on ahead and let's switch it to Bluetooth so we'll switch it over to Bluetooth and as you can see, we got a few RGBs here. Now there is a button over here in the top for your RGB, so you'll just press that button. And this is how you're gonna get different, you know, different light effects on the keyboard. I think there's 15 different zones or um, effects that you can get for RGB. So that's pretty cool. You can get a solid color or this is like a different glowing ambient color. So this is really cool, man. Like I definitely like this. Um, let's cut the light off and see how that looks in the dark. So yeah, that's really nice. Like that looks really cool when you look at the different uh, effects that it has here. So that's really cool, man. So yeah, this is gonna be the Keychron K4 96% wireless keyboard. Now I went with the brown switches. So let's go on ahead and do the test that I know everybody's waiting for. So we'll put this up to the camera and we'll just Oh man, yeah. Compared to this one here, the chiclet style keyboard of the MX Keys is a very silent work style type of keyboard. It's very, very professional. Not saying that this isn't professional, but this just, you know, like when you're typing aggressively, people are gonna know, like people are gonna hear you typing and they're gonna know that you are literally per, you are literally per my last email. They're gonna know that you are that you mean business when you're typing on this. So Keychron K4, 96% wireless keyboard. I think I've said that like five times already in this video, but hope you guys enjoyed this, man. Like I said, if you connect it to your device, it's simply just a matter of using Bluetooth or USB-C. Um, yeah, man, interested to see how this keyboard will do. We'll check back in in about 30 days and see how it's holding up and see how my first mechanical keyboard is doing. So that being said, hope you enjoyed the content, man. Hope you liked the video. If you're new here uh, and you've made it this far in the video, let's drop the word Keychron down below in the comments. Let me know that you made it this far into the video. That would mean a lot to me and I would really appreciate it. And consider subscribing to the channel if you're new here, man. It's 2022. Like I said, we're trying to, we're trying to make this thing happen, man. We're going to go on ahead and hit this thing and make it happen. So hopefully. Hope you enjoy the content, man. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. It's your boy, Tech King Mike. I will catch you on the next one. Stay safe. Stay blessed. I'm out.